So hello and welcome to another coin video, my friends. My name is Glenn, and the channel's name is Gumar D. It's named after an extinct kangaroo. But anyway, this is not a geology or paleontology channel. Beautiful coins. So today's video is a British Virgin Island coin set, and as you can see, this is the actual cover, minted by the Franklin Mint, which actually still produces coins. And uh, they've actually written on top of it, USA, Jung Fern, 1973, now $51.50, so maybe $51.50. hope that's not actual price of it. Could be a catalogue price. But I'm not too sure how much these actually were sold when they were actually first minted. $51 seems like a bit much. It's equivalent to like $500 now. And quite frankly, you know, you're not going to pay $500 for a proof set. So the actual problem with these ones is, you can see inside there, this is rough. So this is the actual, something's gone wrong with the actual cover. It's actually, you can see, it's a little bit, you can see... Yeah, I'm not too sure, it's probably been stored somewhere, probably humid, and it's actually stuck to the cover, it's, it's stuck to this. So, now be careful when you're actually, you're actually purchasing one of these. So you open it up, and you got the inside case, commemorative coin, proof set, and then you should actually have three cards. So you got the authentic no, certificate of authenticity, 1973. This is to certify that the coins of the realm. So that's what they use in the United Kingdom. Set accompanied by this certificate is an original proof set by the British Virgin Islands. First official coinage, so 1973, first official coinage. Now, I'm not too sure if these were actually issued into circulation, but the mintage figures say that there's actually some coins that were produced. So, sorry, I'm just trying to go back on Numistar to the actual one cent coin. And stuff it, do the five cent coin. And the actual coins are actually not the same size as the United States coins because the United States dollar actually circulates in that country. Anyway, so there's actually some other extra coins that were produced and these sets had 181,000 issued. So they don't have numbers on them because so many of them were issued. Okay, and here we have important instructions. The United 73 Virgin Islands proof set is enclosed in a heat sealed plastic form tray to protect the coins during shipment. So, that's the plastic. Most of these sets are still in this plastic. Included with the coins is a pair of protective gloves. Obviously, I don't have the gloves, I've never seen them with the gloves anyway. It's recommended that the coins be handled only with the gloves and as contact with the skin will accelerate tarnishing, okay? So that's why you, when you actually sometimes you get coins, you see fingerprints on them. Uh, your fingerprints actually change in the metallic uh, composition, so it's changing it from a copper and nickel or maybe a silver. It's uh, probably oxidizing it and turning it into another element. So that's basically what tarnishing is. Changing the actual pure metal into probably like a metal oxide or metal sulfide, metal oxalate, something like that. So it's probably lots of different types of um, elements, molecules that are actually formed when it actually changes. To remove the coins from the tray, like at the corner of the top layer of the plastic, which is not sealed to the tray. Peel this corner back and remove the top layer of plastic completely. Remove the coins from cavities in tray, gloved hands, and place each coin in the appropriate cavity in the case. 
So that's why, you know, you got uh, these, the coins actually stick out there. And if you go to put it in like that, it doesn't fit because the $1 should go there and the 50 cents should go there. Uh, so, you know, that's basically, it's just sitting on top of the actual case. So what you're supposed to do is actually take them out and put them in. Uh, but I think the majority of these coins have actually, the people have actually kept the plastic. Because it's added extra, extra protection. And it doesn't look like they're actually tarnishing. So I don't think this is PVC. It's actually quite thick. A bit hard to bend. So it's not this stuff. stuff. It's not um, anything that's going to tarnish it. So that's that one. And on the other side is nothing. And this one actually has the information of the coin. So 200th anniversary of constitutional government of representation. There's a legislative council of Virgin Islands issued its official coin. So this was issued for the 200th year of uh, their own government. And it has exotic birds in the island. Okay, the um, Gilroy Roberts, artist and sculptor, was commissioned to render the design and sculpt the birds for the new coinage, so. And travelled to the island, studied and sketched graceful birds, and he probably would have done, like, quite a few different drawings of each bird, and then he probably would have done a composite, or maybe chose uh, the best birds. So the pelican, he probably would have chose the best one that was flying and sitting and combined them together. And quite a nice set. So the magnificent frigate bird portrayed. So that's on the $1. Uh, has a wingspan of nearly 7 feet. So it's like uh, 2 meters. Oh, a bit over two meters, I believe. It's quite a large bird. It's the island's largest bird. It's easily identified by the raked wings and hooked beak. So it's got a hook on the beak. And glide high above. Okay, the 50 sentence brown pelican. Noted for its elastic-like pouch. So the actual pouch is underneath the beak. Oh, part of the beak. It's the bottom part of the beak. Well, I'm saying underneath the beak. Too. That's weird. So, let's go close up while we actually have a look at the action. So, this is the actual magnificent frigate bird, the largest bird of the island. About 2.3 meter wingspan, quite a big bird. Uh, okay, remarkable fish, fishing abilities. This comical looking bird is a, is found all along the island's coastlines. So... Pelicans are quite a big bird anyway. Then we have the 25 cent. So 25 cent bears an illustration of the mangrove cuckoo. So cuckoos are actually renowned for uh, putting the eggs in the nests of other birds. Recognised by the distinctive song and flared tail. The 12 inch high grey and brown bird is usually found in mangrove trees and shrubs along small streams. Then we have a kingfisher. This is a ring kingfisher. And recognisable by a conspicuous crest. So the actual crest that they're talking about is on top of the actual head. And distinctive white rings around the neck. So it's not portrayed here because there's no colour on this coin. Oh, this would be awesome if it was actually a coloured coin. These birds would be so beautiful. And distinctive white around its neck. It my this migrating bird is familiar to the people of both the Virgin Islands and the United States. Just remember, there's also the American Virgin Islands. Uh, they're pretty much different islands, but in the same position, pretty much. Okay, the Xenia dove, whose white-tipped wings, so obviously it's got white tips on its wings, can. And tail, it's got 
white tip on his tail can be seen flashing across open fields in the search for insects. Okay, so a lot of uh, doves, probably omnivorous, eat insects and also grains. And the same as a lot of birds. So the one cent has the green throated carbal. Oh, it's got two birds. And the Antillian crested hummingbird. So I presume the hummingbird is this one. It looks like a hummingbird. And this one is a carbal. Uh, two of the tiniest birds are portrayed on the one cent coin. As it floats along the tropical flower, these two birds delight the islands. So these hummingbirds are renowned for actually being able to actually static flight so they can buzz their wings and it's not actually going in a forward direction. So nice coin. Okay, so what is the metal composition? Well, this one is bronze, the one cent, the five cent, the 50 cent, are actually copper and nickel. And the one dollar is a one uh, silver coin. They only issued a copper nickel one dollar in 1974. So this one is silver. Nice, beautiful silver coin. So I'm actually just trying to bring up the stats. So it's 0 0.925 silver. Uh, 25.7 grams. And it has a, a bullion value of about $27. So with these sets, uh, you'll probably not pay any less than the bullion value of this coin, $27. So basically, you'll be paying $40 to $50 for these sets. So, quite a nice coin. Oh, and then show the other side. So this is the obverse side. There's Queen Elizabeth II. And British Virgin Islands, 1973. Quite a nice set. And then they're readed. So the island that actually these coins look a bit like in their size is um, Cayman Islands, which have, you know, the smallest coin is one cent, then the five, ten, twenty, even though I think they're actually a bit smaller. But even the Bahamas and Bermuda, which have coin, which accept American dollars, their coins are not the same size as the United States Uh coins anyway let me know what you actually think of this set oh. they're actually I actually like this set it's quite nice and I can't remember what I paid for it I don't think I paid 40 to 50 dollars no probably more like 20 so you can actually find good values on uh, eBay basically what is the future of these coins? Are they going to go up in value? No, I don't think so. Maybe if this silver value goes up, which it has been in the past uh, few years, uh, then this coin set will go up. So if the silver value goes up to like $50, well, obviously the coin value is going to go up as well. It's going to actually push the price of these sets up. But if the silver value drops and uh, this coin drops to like $20, then these coin sets probably might actually, they might drop a little bit or most likely that they'll actually just stay at the same price of uh, $40 to $50 per set. Anyway, I hope you've actually heard of the Virgin Islands before. Very interesting. Wikipedia has a good article on it. I suggest you read it if uh, it actually interests you. And here I'll leave the video. I'll leave a link down to eBay's so you can check to see if there's actually any coins that you know interest you and uh, thank you very much for watching and if you have any questions leave them down below I will comment and uh, try and provide an answer I'm not an expert at everything and uh, take care